Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to talk about this awesome 2018 Tesla Model 3 long range rear wheel drive that we have for sale. Uh, we purchased uh, purchased this vehicle locally. It's a local one owner clean Carfax vehicle. We do have a complimentary Carfax report for you to view. If you're looking for one of the ultimate battery electric vehicles, you know, this is my opinion, but I think I have a pretty good opinion. I've been in the car business 25 years. We've owned a lot of Teslas. We've probably had about 35 various different Teslas in our corporate account. It's my belief that Tesla uh, is pretty much one of the best battery electric vehicles uh, that you can buy. And the biggest reason is they've been doing uh, electric vehicles for a very long time. Uh, when electric vehicles weren't in style, you know, in the, uh, what is it, uh, 2010, 2012, uh, Tesla was uh, all in on them. And uh, they have a head start, and I think uh, they still have a head start. I think they're probably about five to ten years ahead of uh, battery technology, ahead of, ahead of everyone else. And uh, batteries are pretty important because in electric vehicles, batteries are pretty much like your engine. Uh, the electric motors in an electric car are kind of more like differentials, uh, but the power uh, and the how long the battery lasts like an engine how much power does the engine make how long will the engine last will it go 200,000 miles will it go 500,000 miles uh, so that's what you have to think about in battery electric vehicles who not only has the best you know car but who has the best batteries and I think Tesla has some of the best batteries in the business and I think not only is uh, the Model 3 one of the best electric vehicles that you can buy I also think it's actually one of the best any type of vehicle you can buy for a lot of reasons. I have a tendency to go long on these Tesla videos just because there's a lot of misinformation. They're so new, they're so different, but I'll try to make this short as possible. Uh, I'll try to keep this one under 12 minutes. That's a pretty good goal. So this is the Model 3 Long Range 2018. The Model 3 came out in limited supply in 2017. You don't find too many 2017s, but they really ramped up production in 2018. So this is a long range rear wheel drive. Uh, they don't offer a long-range rear-wheel drive version of the Model 3 anymore. I think uh, I think after 2018, um, they made all the long, uh, the all-wheel drive uh, versions of the Model 3 long-range. So if you wanted a long-range after 2018, uh, you had to get one of all-wheel drive. So the nice thing about the rear-wheel drive uh, long-range versus the dual-motor long-range in 2018 is you actually get a little bit more range out of the rear-wheel drive one. I think it's about 10, 15 miles extra range versus the all-wheel drive just because of the dual motors and all that stuff, uh, it's not quite as efficient. So if efficiency is important for you and you're looking at 2018 Teslas, maybe the rear-wheel drive uh, long range might be one to consider. This one has 30,709 miles. A lot of people ask about full self-driving. Uh, full self-driving is pretty rare to find in Teslas if you have it, um, but it's an expensive option. It's a $10,000 option for something that you really can't fully utilize yet. So full self-driving, and of course this video is gonna be on YouTube for years, but uh, as of uh, November 2021, full self-driving is still in beta, so even if you have a Tesla equipped with full self-driving, uh, you have to have a driving score of, I think, 98 out of 100, so that means you have to drive pretty much perfectly, not aggressive driving. Then you're allowed to use a full self-driving beta software, but you need to keep your hands on the wheel, you need to pay attention, uh, it's still in beta. It's not like you can take a nap, you know, read a book or anything like that. Eventually, uh, I think Tesla will get to the point where you can do those things and it will be well worth it. But at this point, it's not there yet. But what you do have, it works great, is autopilot. Autopilot gives you auto steer, so it steers you in your lane during driving and it also uh, gives you adaptive cruise control. So it really makes uh, driving a lot easier if you drive and stop and go traffic. The system really does a great job uh, battling driver fatigue. Okay, so pretty much everything on this vehicle is handled through this uh, touch screen right here. Um, you know, you have a few buttons here and there, but most of everything on this vehicle is handed through the touch screen, opening the vehicle, um, changing settings, uh, activating the auto steer. You can also uh, control how the vehicle drives. You have acceleration chill standard, different steering modes. You can control the run of braking. Uh, stopping mode, you can have it uh, hold when you take when you come to a stop. It will just it won't roll. You take your foot off the brake, it will hold it, or you can have it so it can roll or creep. So you can really do a great job personalizing this vehicle. Also, uh, with premium connectivity, um, it's a ten dollars a month, but it's well worth it. Uh, basically, this has an LTE cell phone transporter responder in it, giving it uh, data. So for the ten bucks a month, um, you can stream music. Uh, Tesla has a great uh, 
streaming channel, of course, if you have Spotify or anything like that. You can connect to it, and of course you can stream music through your phone if you want to do it that way. But the other cool thing is entertainment. Uh, when you're at the supercharger, or maybe you're just uh, maybe you're sitting at the ferry dock, or just trying to pass some time away, you can play video games. And it's pretty cool, like the driving game, you can actually use a steering wheel and brake of the vehicle to operate the you know the vehicles inside the game. Um, you have Netflix, Hulu, and Disney, so you can you know watch videos, watch YouTube. Um, it's amazing. Then uh, you know one cool thing about the climate control system: you have dog mode, you have camp mode. Uh, dog mode, basically you put dog mode on, you leave the vehicle, you close the door, uh, a thing will come up on the screen saying the vehicle is at a nice cozy 73 degrees, my owner will return soon, so, um, you know, if you have animals, that's a nice perk too. Alright, we're moving along very nicely. So with the weight of the batteries low in the vehicle, it has a very, very low center of gravity. So not only does that improve the handling, this has sports car levels performance with that low center of gravity, but it also makes it very safe because it's a very, very difficult vehicle to roll over um, in a rollover type situation uh, just because of that weight of the batteries. They even have done uh, rollover tests and even when the vehicle does manage to get on this roof, the weight of the battery is kind of like a keel on a sailboat or one of those punching, uh, you know, clown, clown punching things. It just goes right back up on its wheels just because of all that weight. Uh, solo on the vehicle and then you have lots of storage as well Not only have a large trunk, but you even have more additional storage under there Really a beautiful looking vehicle, uh, you know some people think uh, the looks kind of polarizing I know some people don't like the look of the model 3 it really has grown on me over the years uh, I like its minimalist styling. I like its uh, sparse interior uh, a lot of people say oh, it's too it's almost like a desert, but honestly after driving so many cars, uh, when you have cluttered interiors, buttons and stuff like that, it's almost too much. It gives me a headache. It's almost like a sensory dep deprivation cha uh, chamber inside the Tesla. It's quiet. You have this nice, uh, sparse, clean interior. It uh, kind of helps unclutter the mind. And then when you have that autopilot on uh, and you're commuting in traffic, it really will do a great job calming you down and getting in a re relaxed frame of mind, whether you're commuting to work or you're on your way home to spend some time with your family. Another nice thing about the Tesla is since you don't have an engine in the front, you have a frunk, so that's additional storage. But this also plays into safety. During certain frontal collisions, if you have a big engine here, and certain frontal collisions, the engine could actually get pushed into the passenger compartment. Also, by not having an engine here, you have a crumple zone that's 60% larger uh, than a vehicle of a you know, gas engine in the front. So you have all this space here to absorb crash energy in an accident. That makes a Tesla Model 3 one of the lowest probability of injuries uh, in an accident out of any vehicle on the road. Don't take my word for it. A simple Google search can pull that up. And then obviously there's a lot of misinformation about autopilot. You can see these government investigations, people hitting police vehicles. Well, when you're using autopilot, you know, you have to supervise, you have to pay attention, you can't not pay attention. I think there's people who are crashing into things while the vehicle's in autopilot, they're not paying attention and they're not intervening. Uh, but then let's look at data. The hard data says that autopilot is very safe. In fact, Tesla has data and uh, autopilot gets safer and safer every year. I think right now in 2021, if you're driving a Tesla with autopilot on, they're averaging one accident per every 4 million miles driven. That doesn't sound very dangerous to me. Does it sound dangerous to you? <laughs> I don't think so. So if you want one of the best battery electric vehicles on the road, one of the safest vehicles on the road, one of the most fun to drive vehicles on the road, um, one of the best vehicles on the road, check out this Model 3. Uh, we have a great selection of Teslas right now. I think I have eight Model 3s in stock. I have all-wheel drive, all sorts of different types of Teslas. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video today. Look at that. I kept it under 10 minutes. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.